Darshan, uh, respected uh, guest of the day, Professor Uday Salanki, the past president and director of Wellington Business School, uh, and uh, D.Y. Patel, again the past president of AIMS, and the vice chancellor of this university, Professor Peter, the past president, and our regional vice president, CDA, vice chancellor of Sri Balaji Institutions, and participants, office members of the Madhya Pradesh chapter of AIMS, and uh, very happy to be associated with this program. And first, let me congratulate Professor Pain that they are choosing this topic and also the program designed such a way that we get a practical exposure. In fact, uh, the speakers you have seen know the four speakers today. All four of them have a great experience of uh, building an institution. To start with, uh, Professor Uday Savanki, I think the V School, which is not that known, maybe 20 three years, 25 years back. And today, the V School has become one of the brand in the country. But yesterday, I was talking to him. And he is, I, my personal uh, experience is, he must be the longest serving of a business school director in a particular institution. I think more than 23 years. Uh, hopefully, we will celebrate the Silver Jubilee uh, by AIMS, maybe in another two years. So, 23 years commitment as a director of the institution. Of course, I have spent 17 to 18 years on PhD. More number of people, some of them spend as a director of an institution, uh, let us say 10 to 15, 20 years. And we have Professor Upendra that I think he also created a two, three well-known institutions, starting from uh, Prestige Institute of Management at Hindu, and then Nirma, and again Jay Pathe Institution, and now again the fourth institution. And of course, uh, Professor Sride, he has his own experience and currently is trying to build up the Balaji University at Pune. So, if you look at all these four speakers, they have something unique in the sense they have a long commitment for the particular institution. And they are patient for the development of an institution. I think that is where the most important of institution building comes. If you really look at the, the institution builders in this country, I think if you talk about the institution builder, the person whose name comes is our Vikram Sarabhai. I think Vikram Sarabhai, not only in academic, I think he built up IAM and Atira, Ahmedabad Textile Research Institute, and of course Space Research, you know he did wonders. He was the founder of the Space Research in India. Any industry or any area, he specialized and he did a great job. I think all the institution which he was associated has gone into the international level. So, Vikram Sarabhai or Avi Matai, followed by uh, in IAM Ahmedabad, and also this people like Korean, I think he has built up an institution. And uh, Aravind Ayaspatal, I think Dr. Ramita Swami Naidu has built an institution. And if you really look at all these people, they have some kind of a commonality they have. The first one is the passion. <coughs> They are patient to develop an institution. In fact, uh, many of you will be surprised to know uh, Dr. Venkataswami Naidu, Venkataswami of uh, Aravind Nai Hospital, started the Aravind Nai Hospital after he retired from the government service. He was working as a doctor in Tamil Nadu government medical services. After retirement at the age of 58, he thought he will build his own institution. That is where Aravind Nai Hospital started. So imagine at the age of 60, somebody starts an organization, and today it has become an international organization, international institution. I think Harvard and uh, top business schools in the world talks about Harvard's high aspect of success story, how they did it. I think that is where the patient comes. Talk about Korean, or Ravi Makai, or uh, uh, these kind of leaders. So they had a vision and the patient. So how they created a vision, I think, uh, uh, before that, let us try to understand what is institutions. See, the organization, when it moves into more social values and social corrupt social culture and gets into social development, it becomes institutions. So every organization, it starts. So maybe a business organization, an NGO, but it has a specific purpose. They try to serve that purpose. But when it moves more on social values and social development, it becomes institutions and that becomes nation. I could see one of the institutions they put a, 
uh, word in the sentence. They said any uh, this organization when it goes beyond certain uh, social values and social commitment, it is no more the with the owners. It belongs to the society. I think that is exactly what we talk about institution. An organization which goes beyond something and goes to social and it serves a social purpose, it becomes the owners. I think the society becomes the owners of that institution. That is why we call it institution. So building an institution, what we require. I think, uh, as I said, I mentioned a few of the names as institution builder. Of course, we have a lot more people who build up the institution. One comes in my name, uh, one comes in my mind is the Mr. V. Krishnamurti. I think all of you heard about Mr. Krishnamurti and how he built up the public sector. Maybe as I consider him as the father of the public sector in India with sale and the other, most of the public sector he had his own say, including Maruti. So that is where the vision of the person comes. It goes beyond something, you know, it becomes the institution, organization becomes the institution. So these uh, names which I mentioned, they have a uniqueness in their character. One, they have the vision, visions. Everyone has a vision. In fact, uh, I worked in a PhD institution almost uh, uh, 27, 22, 27 years. I was a student of PhD. I was associated with PhD more than 30 years. So when I talk about PhD, I think it's a great story to people to understand how PSG has become an institution. The four brothers of PS going to Swami Naidu when they divided the property, they said that the fifth share, they divided it into five share, the fifth share will go to charity. According to them, the PSG and such charity is the fifth brother. The concept, they said that we are four brothers, we adopt charity as the fifth brother, that is where the institution was started. So it was started with 1.25 lakhs in 1926, it is going to be a century old institution. 1.26 lakhs it was started. Today it has gone. They have carpus for 1,000 crores and maybe more than 4,000, 5,000 property worth today they have. That institution. Interestingly, what happened is the four brothers' property has not crossed 1,000 crores all put together. But one fifth brother, that's a charity, that institution has gone much, much beyond expectations of anyone in Coimbatore. Why it happened? The vision. I think the vision of PSGL clearly says that let me cha let me share the charity with the public for prosperity. So that means my prosperity has to be cha shared with the charity. So that was a noble vision they had. Even today, any activity what they do, it is only charity. It is completely managed by a professional body, not the family. I think that is the second point. The first point is they should have a vision. The second one is openness, open culture, transparent culture. So today, uh, very interestingly, uh, they, I mean, uh, in fact, uh, Professor Upendra they asked me to talk about a case study of our own institutions. So PSG again, you know, when they started, they said that we will start as a charity institution, as a fifth brother, and they very clearly defined the constitution that each family member will have one representation, that is four members, and then they co opt outside the society, outside the family, uh, five members. The understanding is there will be nine members in the board, majority will be outside the family. That means only the four will represent the family, five from the outside the family. The institute will be controlled by the five members, but ultimately the management will be controlled by the family members, because only the member of the family can become the managing trustee. So that is exactly what I am talking about, the social value and the transparency with the institution had. I think the most important, the survival of the institution, the institution building is the kind of a transparency, the trust which we possess. So that is the reason why even after 95 years, as I said, it's going to touch 100 years, the institution survived, it's growing. And absolutely there is no dispute among the board of trustees and other things, functions very, very smoothly because it is a balancing between family and outside board members. So the transparency and the, the kind of the social value helps the organizations. And the third one is the commitment of the individual. Look at the names which I mentioned. Everybody had a commitment and everybody had the involvement of the organization. I think the commitment made them to work for the organizations. 
And then the fourth one is people have to understand the investment in the, the human behavior.